What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to SnowRunner, and today, as you guys can see here, we are using, or I should say, I got myself this big Ram, a 5500, and it is R&R &R Yeti 5500, and it's based on a Ram 5500, look at that, very nice, very nice. Anyway, we are still here. If you guys remember from the last episode, we was uh, using the Ford 4500 or the 3500. And we was also using that Chevy. However, if you guys remember, we had... I said that I wanted to try... So basically, okay, home. here's what we're doing today. So today, we're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to rescue the Ford. And number two is we're going to try to rescue that semi-truck. That is the plans. And as far as I know, let's see here. Do I have any recovery points, etc.? We... I have to look. Refuel. Okay, we have some extras, right? We got... Yep, okay. So, that's the plan for today. So, anyway, without further ado, let's... Uh, let's fire up the ram and let's head over there this truck is the it's the first time taking this truck on the drive here so this should be quite interesting I should say so we're gonna basically we're gonna take the Ram through the same journey that the Ford did um, Now this truck is in fact beefed up for this mission, so hopefully it can uh, handle it. Right, we almost went off the edge. Almost. Not quite, but almost. It's a foggy morning, as you guys can see. It's very foggy. It's like 7, I think it's like 7 o'clock in the morning or so. Now, like I said, I could put a bigger lift kit on this truck if I wanted to, but I kind of want to keep it low to the ground for a lot of different reasons not only so we can uh be able to actually recover now this truck has a very stiff suspension this is the stock suspension for the truck so it's not i don't know if we're going to have enough clearance for this mission now that i think about it i don't know i'm going to try to make it work though but Ah, uh, we may not have enough clearance. Yep, I don't think we're going to have enough clearance. I knew this was going to be a problem. But, I'm fighting it here. We're, we're trying to make it do. Make do for what we got here, but honestly, I really don't know if this truck is going to make it. Okay, we went. Out, we got over the rocks. We done dinged up the bed. The bed of the truck is completely messed up. It's all gone. All right, I gotta try to figure out the path that I was supposed to go through here. Now I think if we go through the tree lines, there should be some water here. This is a much different path than what we took before. Might be a better path overall, but let's see. The camera is, uh, is so high up. It's pointing too high. Wait, there's a road here. How about I take the road? Come on, back up. Anyway, um, I do believe that this truck is available on console. So, people that use consoles, I believe this truck is uh, on console. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not name brand. It's not called Ram. And, uh, I think it qualifies to be added onto console. I know some other YouTubers, they, uh, they did say that it is released on console, so I'm going off of their reference. I don't have a reference. I'm just using them for a reference. All right, let's see. Where are we exactly? 
Hold on, I gotta see where we're going. Where are we? So this is like a path. Believe it or not, I probably should have took this when I was uh, in the Ford, but instead I, I, I made my own road. But anyway, okay, this is where stuff is going to start becoming a challenge because I got to try to go up this way. Now, let me remind you guys that this truck is not made for what I'm doing with it right now. I did not make it for this, but I am trying to make do for what this truck is for this recovery mission. Let's just say that this is a recovery truck, and uh, since this is a completely total different style of uh, recovery, we're just testing out to see can it actually do it. 99% I'm fighting this dang can camera angle. Because I can't see when I'm driving this truck. Alright, we're just going to have to go through it. Alright, come on, ram. Come on, Ram. Now, we've seen the Chevy. The Chevy went through here, but you got to remember something. Oh, God. Get me out of here before I hydro lock this motor. Come on. But, <laughs> but yeah. This is a lot deeper than you think. This water is deep. Oh, we're about to lock that motor up in a minute. Come on, get me out of here. Like I say, this truck isn't, it doesn't have that much lift. All right, we out. We are out of there. All right, so here's the other Ford here. Now, from my understanding, I believe this truck was stuck, but I don't know. Oh boy, can I get a winch? Give me a winch. Now, we're not here for this one. So, I'm going to leave that Ford stuck there. And I'm going to try to recover the other one. So, yeah. I'm going to leave that one there. We might have to use a lot of winch for the ram. Just to get through here. I can already tell that it's going to be a challenge. Now... The, um, the, f the Chevy that we had through here, it was pulling a fully loaded service trailer through this water. Oh, I see it. There's the Ford right here. I see it. If we can get the Ram up here. There you go. All right, so here's the Ford. I'm going to get a winch onto the Ford, and we're going to try to back back and try to... This is going to be one hard pull, because that... I'm trying to bag uphill right now. Come on, ram. Alright, I'm going to try to use the winch a little bit. Drag it. There you go. Alright, so we just rescued the... We just rescued the Ford, so now I'm going to try to get in front of the truck. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, and we just flipped the ram. So <laughs> good thing we rescued the Ford before the ram went over. So let's go and uh, let's hop back into the let's hop into the Ford and let's rescue the ram since I'm here. And I know a lot of you Ford people are like, you didn't give the Ford a chance. But I know a lot of you were saying that the Ford is has a, a lot taller of a lift kit. But you have to remember something here. Is the lift kit that this truck has is not really that tall. It's not really that tall of a lift kit. It's almost the same lift that that Ram had. And the Chevy was a little bit lower. So it's not that big of a, big of a height difference. Alright, here we go. Come on, Ram. So, we got the ram out of there. Alright, there we go. So now, we're gonna... Let's swap back into the ram, and what we're gonna do... 
Gotta get up out of here. Gotta power out of here in this truck. We're a little stuck right now. There you go. Yeah, I really... This truck really do need a, a taller lift on it. But... There we go. Alright, we're gonna leave the Ford here, right there for now. And if I get stuck, I come back and grab the Ford. But I'm going to take this Ram, and I'm gonna try my best to try to get to that. Um, and see if we can get it. The mission right now is to try to get that, that, uh, semi-truck. Which isn't that far from here. Uh, because I have the... The repair and fuel for the truck and the ram so that's why I want this one the most it has nothing to do with brands <laughs> I have nothing to do with brands it's just this truck has all the equipment to recover it but the, the hard part is trying to get this stock truck over there because it's not lifted at all it has the stock lift Not stock, not stock from the factory, but stock from um, when I or when I bought the truck. And it needs to be a little bit taller. And the tires is not the best. I should have grabbed mud tires, but I did not do that. I got all terrains about, but these are kind of mud tires. All right, we have to do this now. If you guys remember, the Chevy went right up this hill, and it's full of mud. And it did it with a trailer. That's the most impressive part about that truck. Is it actually did that with a trailer. Fully loaded. You gotta remember that. Fully loaded trailer. Alright. I don't want to roll the truck. So I'm going to try to come like this. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm going to bag up. I'm going to try to get that truck. Number one. I want to try to get that truck repaired and fueled. Before I try to yank it because if I try right now, we're just gonna start pulling dead weight and because that truck is Stuck we need that truck running. Okay, so we're gonna get it running first and then we're gonna try to recover it I don't know if we're gonna have enough to fix everything here, but Let's focus on the engine and the fuel tank so it can hold fuel. I Don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix everything. That's the that's what I'm I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get wheels and the gearbox. I can... I think I can fix everything. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I can fix everything on it, though. We're going to try to bag up and just try my best to... Uh, as soon as I find reverse. There we go. All right, here we go. Like I say, it's mainly dead weight. That's what this truck is. It's a lot of dead weight for it, so... I don't know if it will even work, but... I'm gonna try my best. Come on. Come on. There you go. Get up out of that hole, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to bag it back. Come on, come on. All right, come on. Come on. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. This truck is really in there, and I don't have a lot of backup power with this truck. So we might have to hook up from the other way to be able to do it. Yeah. Let's release it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the other way with it. Right there. That will do, right here. I don't know.
yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're moving very slowly. One more time. Let's bag up. Come on. That truck is in there. Oh, that truck is in there. Alright, come on. Come on. Yep. Yep. It's not doing it. We can't do nothing with this. All right, so we 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 cannot physically get this out right here. So I'm going to call reinforcements, and I'm going to grab the Ford, and I'm going to see if we can kind of kind of team up here to try to get it out. But I don't know if it's going to work. All right, come on, Ford. All you got to do is stay on your wheels and don't roll over. Literally. Alright, I already know this truck can do it. Yes. Alright, here we are. Alright, so we made it here. Well, hold on. I just thought of something. We're not going to be able to do this. All right, hold on. All right, let me get the ram out of the way, and then I'll come back and get the uh, semi. All right, let's release it here, and then I bag back and I grab and I hook up to that semi truck. Come on, ram. I mean, come on, Ford. See if I can get me a good yank. Get a good yank on it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The Ford, it pulled that semi-truck out. Look at that. Look at that. Heck, yeah. We're climbing on top of the ram right here. Okay. 